and it was provided for and sponsored by the Santa Monica Police Department and the police union. And so some of those Christians came by at the live nativity scene in uniform in a police car, and we praise God for that. Now, that is happening. And later on, we heard, saw it on Channel 2 and Channel 4 and Channel 7, that indeed other churches, my son's church, the Church on Pearl, First Southern Baptist Church of of Santa Monica, or the Southern Baptist Church in Santa Monica, I'm not sure the title, it used to be called the Church on Pearl. His name is Jeff McCulty, and uh, he was there and saying it's not about the fight, it's about the reason for the season, and he's absolutely right. Jeff McCulty, my son-in-law, was right, and uh, they, he was there at the live nativity scene yesterday as a pastor, and so were other pastors from around the country all the way from Washington, D.C. The Right Reverend Patrick Mahoney was there. Christian Defense Coalition was there. If you go to our website, if you go to YouTube and uh, put in uh, information there, you will find the nativity scenes in Santa Monica. You'll see pictures uh, of them. You'll see many things of them. But you will know and you'll also hear that something strange happened. They had the nativity scene from one to four, only three hours. About halfway through, the nativity scene, the live scene, transported themselves, moved, walked down Santa Monica Boulevard to the corner of Santa Monica and 3rd and turned right into the 3rd Street Promenade. Now, there's all kinds of entertainment going on legally on the promenade. You can bring a group in there to sing. There is a limitation on the size and so forth. But other than that, you can go there anytime to the 3rd Street Promenade and perform Christmas songs or any kind of music. And uh, we had earlier on um, Castilla's family, three very beautiful young people in very bright, Merry Christmas red and white. And uh, they sang... Uh, rocking around a Christmas tree. They sang, have a Merry Christmas and so forth. And uh, so we filmed that. And anyway, during the live nativity scene, we took about half of it down to the Third Street Promenade and they performed there. And then we also heard from another pastor that many other churches were coming there. Last night, there were several groups that came there. Uh, for the live nativity scene, their own version of the nativity scene, and they came there. And then also at 7 o'clock each night, between there at Santa Monica Boulevard and the pier, there are groups doing carol singing and witnessing and sharing the moving live nativity scene there in Santa Monica, California, the Christmas city, celebrating 60 years of celebrating the birth of the Christ child, the birth of a king, the manger scene, and so forth. Now, we went over there yesterday uh, again to be there with the Santa Monica Nativity Scenes.org. Santa Monica Nativity Scenes.org. There was also another group represented there uh, yesterday as well as on Saturday, and that's an organization called Survivors, Survivors.LA. Christina Garza uh, was there and other folk were there witnessing and being a part in costume. I was in my normal costume of a suit, uh, but others were in uh, Mideastern costumes, Mary and Joseph, uh, uh, turbans and and robes and all of those kinds of things, and uh, we were there. And the Survivors.LA, that's their website, Survivors.LA, uh, brought a lot of people in. Uh, Jeff White and uh, his uh, co-worker Cheryl Conrad, and Cher and uh, uh, Brother White's wife, and and children and other folks, men and women, boys and girls, praising God for the nativity scene. And we had a great time on Saturday. We also had a great time on Sunday. And so I had to rush back yesterday 
from the presentations we did. We did a live broadcast, and if you'd like to go up and see our broadcast, you simply go, when I'm not on, go to Ustream.tv, and you will see uh, what happened there in Santa Monica. You'll see the show we did. Actually, we did two shows yesterday, and you'll find those on Ustream.tv and on YouTube.com. Put in The Wiley Drake Show. All of that will come up, and you will see what God is doing through this. What the devil meant for evil. The devil was evil. The devil wanted to do away with all this Christianity. And so the city cooperated and moved it out. But a beautiful company there said, Hey, you need a place for your Christian, Judeo, uh, menorahs, and so forth, and your Christian scenes. Put them here on our property. They not only put them on their property, but they put lights up around that as well. And we praise God for that. Now, with that in mind, we were there. We saw the lights yesterday. We had a great celebration with great music and great preaching and a great nativity scene service at 3 o'clock yesterday, finished up about 4.30 or 5, got back in the car and drove back to Buena Park where we had a moving evangelical, Bible-believing, Bible-preaching church service with laying on of hands with some healing and some prayer for healing and a great, great service yesterday at 6 o'clock up until about 8.30. We had a praise time. We had preaching time. We had a meal together, and we praised the Lord. And then after the long, busy day, this old man was tired, and this old man went home and got some sleep. Well, my normal routine is to get up at 4.30 in the morning and come up here at 5 o'clock. And I did that this morning, and I was here. And my normal routine is, after we do our prayer meeting from 5 to 7, this old man takes a nap. I laid down to take a nap. Well, when I laid down at 5 minutes till 7 this morning, God said, Wiley, you don't need a nap. I've given you extra energy. I've given you extra purpose, and you don't need a nap. Get up and shave and get dressed and get ready for the day. And so I said, hey, Lord, I need a nap. The Lord said, no, you don't need a nap, but I need to talk to you about something else. And so the Lord told me at about 7.15 this morning that we should do a live nativity scene here at the First Southern Baptist Church, and that's what we're going to do starting today. Good morning, God bless you, and welcome to the Wiley Drake Show. You're live on the air. You're welcome to go ahead and talk, or if you'd like to talk personal or private, call me back at 10 o'clock. Hello? Hello. Hi. Uh, yeah, I'm actually calling to see if my granddaughter had come over there last night. Well, ma'am, listen, let me tell you something. I, this is Pastor Drake. We're live on television right now, and we're also live on radio. But oh, I, okay. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Let me just tell you that, ma'am, I would not confirm or deny that she's here because we have a shelter, and we take people in off the street, and I have no idea who you are. If you would like to come by here and meet with me, I'd be glad to meet with you, be glad to talk to you about your daughter, but I cannot do it on the air, nor would I do it on the telephone. Right. I understand. I, I didn't know that. Um, well, that's for their protection, ma'am. Sometimes we take in people that are being hunted by a husband or hunted by a wife, right. and, and it would be dangerous for us to say, yes, they're here, because um, I don't want to bring that in here. On the air and such as that, I just have the card. Okay, that's fine. Just come by at 10 o'clock. I'll be glad to talk with you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there's a perfect Part of an organization again. called the Christian Anti-Defamation Commission, and our website is thinchristians.org. We're here in support now, of the local see, community here in San uh, Up over my right shoulder, <laughs> over my right shoulder, you will see video and footage from yesterday, you'll see there Dr. Gary Cass is uh, speaking. You'll not hear him right now. But 
you can come back later and view the video. You can go to YouTube and put in Santa Monica Nativity Scene or The Wiley Drake Show, but you will see what's going on there. No, that's okay. Just run whatever you want to run there, brother. Uh, that's Brother Jaime Chan. By the way, if you have a nativity scene, a nativity video, we'll be more than glad to run it for you. Now, let me tell you what I, as the pastor of First Southern Baptist Church, I'm asking you uh, for several things. First of all, I'm asking for prayer. Starting today, we're going to have bales of hay delivered. We're going to put in the baby Jesus, and we're going to start today building our nativity scene. And later today, after the show tonight, we will build a fire. We have a little fire uh, pit kind of thing uh, that's freestanding. It's absolutely safe. And we're going to build a fire in that. And we're going to dedicate that tonight uh, at sundown. We're going to dedicate that uh, to a belated late beginning of Hanukkah here at the church. You will see, if you come here, a Jewish flag very prominently uh, displayed here on our property. You'll also see uh, some plaques that talk about our support of Israel. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a Jewish American Christian. Now, that means that as an American, I was born here in the United States. I am a patriot, not an expatriate. I live here, I was born here, and I was not born again here in America. In fact, the matter is, I was born again aboard the USS Kitty Hawk, a carrier, CVA-63, when I was 19 years of age in 1963. Before my birthday, I prayed to receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. And when I did that, when I did that, according to to the Word of God, and I'm trying to find my Bible now, and i got to find my Bible, and I'll be right back, honey. Don't, don't leave me. <laughs> my guy gets upset when I leave the set. <laughs> All right, I'm going to share with you, uh, though, a, a, a ver verse of Scripture from over in the New Testament, and that's going to be uh, way over close to the back. We're going to, I uh, went too far, we're going to go to Galatians Galatians chapter 3 says this, ladies and gentlemen, please listen up. For you are the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as have been baptized unto Christ have put on Christ. If you're a Christian, you have put on Christ. If you've been baptized, you've put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free, neither male or female. You are all one in Christ Jesus. Now, did you hear that? You're all one in Christ Jesus. And in the last verse, it says, If you be Christ's, that's apostrophe S, meaning we belong to Christ. And if you be Christ, then, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Now, folks, you can't be any more clear than that. I am a seed of Abraham, not because I'm culturally a Jew, not because I was born in the Holy Land, but because I am a born-again Christian, and I belong to Christ. And since I belong to Christ, God said, don't care what the Baptists say, don't care what the Jews say, don't care what anybody else says, God said, I am Christ's, then I am a seed of Abraham and a joint heir uh, to that blessing. Now, let me share that with you one more time. I should have kept it marked, but I didn't. All right. If you be Christ, and if you be Christ's, then are you Abraham's seed, Abraham's seed, 
and heirs according to the promise. Now, what promise are we talking about? The promise of God. The promise that says, I'll bless those who bless Israel and curse those who curse Israel. Now, folks, Abraham. If you be Christ, and I am Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to that promise. Now, folks, I didn't make that up. That's not my idea. To be honest with you, I sort of like the idea of being Jewish. <laughs> but the bottom line is, uh, God said, whether I like it or not, uh, I am in Christ then I am Abraham's seed. Two things. I'm Abraham's seed. Now, did he mean biologically? Of course not. What does he mean? It has to be spiritual. So I am Abraham's seed, and I'm an heir according to the purpose. I'm an heir according. That's what it says, folks. Listen again. I'll read it for you again. If you be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed, and heirs according to the promise. What promise? You tell me. The promise of the Word of God. The promise of eternity. The promise of eternal life. When I became a Christian, I got the promise of eternal life. I got the promise of eternal life. And when I got the promise of eternal life, I also got the promise that I am Abraham's seed. So I am a Jew. I am a Judeo-Christian, Southern Baptist, Arkansas-raised, United States citizen in the kingdom of Almighty God. Now, if you'd like to call us and be on the show with us, talk to me about that subject or any other subject, you're welcome to do so. I have several numbers here you can call on. You can call on the Washington, D.C. number. And that Washington, D.C. number is indeed 202-747-4839. You're looking at the film there. You're seeing the right Reverend Patrick Mahoney, who is the leader and chairman and chief cook and bottle washer, jailbird, etc., for the uh, Christian Defense Coalition. And he came out here to California uh, to help us, and we praise God for him coming out here. I want to say thank you to Pat. I want to say to Pat, if he's there, uh, if he can answer the phone, we'll we'll try to get him to answer the phone here. Maybe we get him, maybe we can uh, get him on the phone here with us. Talk to us about the trip here. Talk to him a little bit about. It. Let's see. Uh, let me see here. Los Angeles announcing. The forgotten for Senate rejects former Coptic solidarity. Uh, let's see. Uh, groups to display nativity scenes. Let's see if we can. Yeah, let's see if we can get Brother Pat Mahoney on the line with us. One five four zero five three eight four seven four one. That's Pat's number. If you need it, folks, call him. 540-538-4741. I'm not giving out personal private information. Uh, if you call that number, that's on the press release they put out. So it's there for public consumption if you'd like to call. Let's see if we can find Reverend Pat Mahoney. And see if we can find him. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Reverend Pat Mahoney, this is the Reverend Wiley Drake. We're live on the air, 24 minutes into the Wiley Drake Show. We're watching you uh, on video behind me uh, where you were at there uh, in Santa Monica as a minister of the gospel as the director of the Christian Defense Coalition, and as a mighty man of God standing for the nativity scene. As you probably have already heard, not only did there 
the nativity scene go well, as you know, there on the Saturday afternoon from 1 to 4. But you led uh, at least part of the scene down to the 3rd Street Promenade where Christmas carols were sung and witness was given out, uh, 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 tracts on the gospel, sharing the gospel of Christ were given out. And then we also heard locally, don't know if you're back in D.C. or what this deal is, but we also heard that other churches came along even after the live nativity scene went away. Others brought in their own live nativity scene, and they're doing that uh, even after we did. And there'll be others coming, and then along about 7 o'clock in the evening, there were other church groups that came there to sing carols, uh, to participate in this nativity scene, and we praise God for that. As you probably know, we're about uh, 30 miles from Santa Monica, but we're opening today on December the 10th, the live nativity scene here at the headquarters of the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C., in Buena Park, California. And we're also going to be here all the way through the month with a live 24-hour day nativity scene on church Reached property. maximum time permitted for recording your message. If you are satisfied with your message, press 1 to listen... To send your message with normal delivery, press 1. To send your message with urgent delivery, press 2. Thank you. Your message has been sent. All right. We sent our message to Pat Mahoney, and uh, we want to send a message to you. Starting today, December the 10th, in the year of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, 2012, we're going to have for the entire month of December, a live nativity scene here in Buena Park. If you know anyone in Buena Park, you know anyone here, we would encourage you uh, to be a part of this live nativity scene. Now, I'm going to try to reach uh, Mr. Hunter Jameson, who is the chairman of the Santa Monica Nativity Scenes dot org. Santa Monica Nativity Scenes dot org is how you can get in touch with them. We're gonna see if we can get uh, Hunter Jameson. His dear wife was reluctant to be on TV with me yesterday. <laughs> 